Charlotte Douglas International Airport is surrounded by thousands of acres of heavily wooded land, a perfect habitat for deer. Deer don't usually go out during the daylight hours. And they don't usually make it past the barbed wire topped fence around the airport. Somebody that was texting said it was a deer. But one did manage to get on the runway Wednesday afternoon. A plane hit the animal during takeoff, causing a fuel leak. You're trailing some type of vapor or something off the right hand side. No one was injured and the plane landed safely back at the airport, but the incident left many travelers wondering. How was the deer on the runway? Airport officials say they inspected the perimeter fence Thursday and didn't find any openings the deer could have gotten through. Deer have the ability to jump over eight foot fences. I'm about 5'3", so you can see a deer would probably be able to clear this fence surrounding the runways at Charlotte Douglas International Airport. That's why airport officials are hoping to increase the height of the fence to 10 feet. Because of the proximity of the airport tour the forested areas, um, I'm not surprised. Ernie McClaney is president of the North Carolina Wildlife Federation Charlotte chapter. He says Mecklenburg County is home to thousands of deer being pushed out of their homes by development. As long as we are disturbing their natural habitat, they're going to have to venture out to find food, a new shelter, and uh, that is why they're in our urban uh, neighborhoods now. And building a higher fence may be the only way to keep them out. In Charlotte, Caroline Vandergriff, Time Warner Cable News.